So, you want to figure out whether your app users like or dislike the app. To get started, hover over Documentation, click on the Playground page. Change Google Search API to Google Play Product API, and click on Show All Reviews option. This will tell SERP API to display and parse all available reviews from the particular app. Next enter a search query. To get an app ID you need to open particular app inside Play Store. Look inside URL for ID parameter which defines the app name. Copy this ID and place inside the playground. You can also play around with other available parameters. Here I'm showing that return data from the JSON is matching HTML data. Also, don't forget to use export to code playground feature to generate boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. As usual, we need to import libraries, add search query parameters, add a temporary list to store extracted data, create a while loop to iterate over all available pages. Note that return JSON data must be inside the while loop. Otherwise data will not be updated when we'll be paginating to the next page. If the return JSON will be outside the while loop, the pagination data will be updating the same thing over and over again. Next we need to add a for loop to iterate over reviews results. Note that here I'm using get dictionary method with an empty list as a second argument, which defines a default value if something returns none. This is to handle exception if reviews won't be present in the app. Then we need to append the data to the temporary list as a dictionary. Here I'm just printing reviewer name to show you the progress. The final thing that needs to be done is to check if the next page is present in the SERP API pagination key and if present, update results to the next page. In short, this is the current way of updating results to the next page. Such approach don't used in all APIs. This is only happens with token-based pagination APIs. In the future, this most likely be fixed and easier to do approach. Finally, if the next page is not present, we need to exit the while loop and print the results and length of the reviews data list, just to show you how many results is being parsed. And here's the live output that parsed 400 user reviews. For now, this is the SERP API limit which comes from what Google returns on their end. In order to get further reviews, you need to use browser automation to click and scroll the page in order to parse results. I hope you found this useful. See you in the next video.